give me a happy marriage. That prayer cannot be answered. I'm not cursing anybody. The prayer can only be answered when you have done what you should do. God will not do. You can't ask God in prayer to do what he has already commanded you to do. If your spouse is expected to be performing at 80%, but your spouse is performing at 20%, complaining will not increase the 20%. It will only shrink it. If you complain, what will happen is that that 20 will become 2. Later, that 22 will become 0. But if you can praise God for the 20%, it only means that that 20 will keep increasing. Where there is praise, there is race. Remove P from praise. What you have is race. That's why the Bible says in John, if I be lifted up, wherever you lift me, I will draw you to there. But if I'm being put down, things goes down. So what we did when this church started was that when things were not working, we fixed our eyes on what was working and we're celebrating it. I remember the day we, we, do, we look for money, we got that money, we bought our first plastic chair. We bought two dozens. Eh? Two dozens. That one that has, uh, you can rest your hand. I'm rest. Very comfortable. When we bought it, we dedicated it on Sunday. We said, church, let's thank God for these two dozens of chairs. Because we were using five benches before. So let's stretch our hands towards them, where they are. I say, Father, we appreciate you. And look, microphone, we dedicate microphone. Somebody said, but Pastor, you see, I want to, I'm, I'm gathering my testimony. No, God says, don't, I don't want you to gather it. Eh? Why I'm doing it, keep praising me. God didn't wait to finish the world before he started celebrating. From day one, he celebrated. Go and read Genesis. The Bible says at the end of it, what did he do? He said, this is good. That's celebration. He can't be praising himself because he's God by himself. So, so the best way he could do it was to say this. The second day, has he finished everything? No. What did he end up saying? Oh, this today, it's now well, we did not meet our target. No, he said, this is good. The third day, he said, this is good. The fourth day, he didn't retire until he said, this is good. The fifth day, he didn't go to, go, go, go to his, chamber, his chamber. He said, this is good. The sixth day, this is good. The seven days, say this is very good. Look, if you can't say this is good, you can't say this is very good. <laughs> if you can't look at what is not complete and say this is good, you can't say this is very good because you can't have that thing complete. Say, I'm complete because let all the people praise me. All the people. So the church that started beside the donkey. And because we did not stop praising God, see what the Lord is doing. Just about a few days ago, we got our certificate registered in Canada. We, we just like that. One of my sons last week, he needed $2,000. He went on Instagram and said, if you have doll, if you are in Nigeria, you are living in America, you, are, you, you need Naira, please send me a DM. Let's talk. He said, Pastor, when I do it like that, I don't do it for people I don't know. I have my friends that we trust ourselves. I'm trying to target. And whenever they call me, the next thing we do is we talk about the rate. Then I credit their Nigerian account to the Naira equivalent. Then they help me pay for whatever I want to pay for, credit my own account in the U.S., so I needed $2,000, and I said, uh, and one random guy who he didn't know too well chatted him up and said, how much do you need? So he didn't mention the figure in his message. So he said, you said you need dollars. How much do you need? He said $2,000. He said, that's possible. The guy sent his Nigerian account, and you know, if you have been engaged in that kind of process before, they always expect us to pay the money first. Huh? Abby, even if they know us. Because they don't want to hear that Buhari has resigned, so because of that, I cannot pay the money. <laughs> they don't want to hear. 
Over there, nobody's resigning. They want, everything is stable. So we pay first. But that my son said, he went to the profile of this guy and saw just a few pictures and couldn't see anything that to hold on like, he said, oh, oh God, I cannot pay first. Because if you go to my own profile, you see all my activities daily. You see, you can hold me. You can even blacklist me. But for you, I can't really figure things out like, maybe the person is even watching this morning. And the guy said to him, I've checked your profile. And I see that you follow Pastor Adioye. I will credit you with $2,000. And he credited him with $2,000 before he credited him. He said just because you follow Pastor Adioye. The Pastor Adioye that started church beside the dung hill. And he credited his account. And he was shocked. He said, look. He now called him. I said, look, I'm not just following him. He's my pastor. He said, yes, I checked your profile. I saw that. I saw that. I don't know he's your pastor, but I know you follow him. He said, do you know him? He said, Yes. Does he know you? He said, he doesn't know me. He sent me his picture. I said, I've never seen him before in my life. I said, so my name can bring $2,000 out to the glory of God. Me that I cannot, 2000 naira per month, we could not pay in, beside the dungeon. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. He can give somebody on my behalf. So if, oh, my katalosha, katale, brasa. If you know what God is about to do in your life, you won't complain about today. If you know the table God he prepares before you, you won't complain about today. Today won't matter. This one you want to die over today. It will not matter. Somebody is here. That thing you lack and you think you can want to die over it, by tomorrow it will be surplus. I say by tomorrow it will be more than enough. By tomorrow it will overtake you. You are the one running after it today. But by tomorrow, that thing will overtake you. In the name of Jesus. If it is car, it will overtake you. If it is children, it will overtake you. If it is business, it will overtake you. If it is marriage, it will overtake you. If it is, if it is, if it is traveling, it will overtake you. If it is visa, it will overtake you. If it is whatever it is, it will overtake you. So it's not worth dying for. I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't have this. I don't have that. Look, I have called people in countries I've never been before. And somebody will be there and call me and say, Pastor, I'm, in, I'm stranded. And I'll say, don't worry, give me two seconds. And I'll call, and they will give him job in two days. But we started beside the Don Gilo. Look, three and a half years. People will cover because everywhere is smelling. There are flies. We have to come and sprinkle kerosene early in the morning on Sunday. At least to reduce the, the, the flies. Somebody will bring kerosene and sprinkle it. We have to sit down beside the building where the shadow of the building falls because we can't afford the canopy. We can't afford to rent the canopy because the offering won't pay for it. And the pastor can't pay too. We have to finish the service before latest 11 because the sun will catch up with us. Then later we say, ah, after six months, let's start renting canopy. Let's rent few chairs. We're having more people. We began to rent. One day, the place where we're renting, we couldn't pay. They said they are coming to scatter the church on Sunday morning. Because of what? 12,500 naira. We couldn't pay 12,500 naira. We didn't have it. That service, when we finished that service, because the man says it's coming next Sunday. Everybody in that church, in the church that day, I said, please remain on your seat. This chair is not my chair. We rented this chair, and I'm not the one that sat on this whole chair. So we are all going to figure out how we need to pay for this chair because we now hold 12,500. This one say 500, this one say 1,000. So I say, we gathered the money. One brother in the church, I will never forget that brother, he gave 3,000. We look at him like, where did you get it? <laughs> I will never forget that brother. I still remember his name till today. He gave 3,000, only him. We almost want to ask him, what do you do, sir? <laughs> Praise God. Praise the Lord. Do you know how we got our first good keep, uh, drum? God told me where to close the service. He said, tell the church to dance around. 
To dance extra time around means it will be in the sun. But I had to obey God. I said, church, let's dance. God said we should dance around this place seven times. So all of us started dancing around seven times. We're dancing around seven times. Just clapping. No instrument. Nothing. No drum. We're dancing. We're dancing. Then God dropped it in the heart of one of our brothers that buy this church set drum. So he wrote it in a piece of paper and sent it to me. Come and see jubilation. It's a promise. But over that promise, the whole church just scattered. <laughs> I just so I took the paper, I made the announcement. I said, Church, guess what just happened? Somebody just said by <laughs> between now and Sunday, he's getting us a 30,000 and I said drum. Hey, everybody just went. Because everybody knows that if we're going to buy anything 30,000, we have to really save. But does it matter now? Our church buys things for other churches. I was preaching in a church not too far from that here. And I, as I was about to preach. I was leading worship. I opened my eyes. I was hearing the sound of the kind of drum we used to you have. That was I sound like cattle. So I opened my eyes and I saw the same type. And my spirit got hungry. And in the midst of the worship, I tapped Minister Shea. He was in my front. I said, go and call the person that sells instruments to us now. And find out how much is drum. Tell him we were buying drum before Sunday for a church. And we bought the drum for the church. The pastor, the day we said the drum has come, that he should be in church for us to deliver it. I, ca I cannot relate. I know the way he feels because I felt that way. He was calling us as if, oh, but do I jack a drum on here? <laughs> he was calling the people that were going to deliver the drums as if what they were bringing can be hijacked. He was monitoring. He came here. He didn't find them. He was looking for her because the drum was like, he said, I have announced in church a new drum. <laughs> so when they were, when my staff were giving me a report, I said, I can relate. I say I know what the, how he feels. I know what it means to him. Ordinary drum. I prophesy. Everything that looks not enough today, it can be joy, it can be money, it can be sleep, it can be peace of mind, it can be happiness, it can be money. Whatever in your life that is not enough today, as you jump up in praise, this year, there will be more than enough. Stretch your two hands up. Whatever is a, a, a concern in your life is not enough. Everybody knows it's obvious. I prophesy in the next few minutes of praise, God will open the windows of heaven on your behalf. He will pour you out those things and it will be more than enough. In the name of Jesus. I was in Connecticut, in, uh, 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 in Walmart. I overshop because we just had David. I exhausted all the money in my hand. Connecticut is not a place where black people, I mean, Nigerians stay more. So I was almost getting stranded and I, I was trying to figure out how do I get a Hoover? I don't have money. I don't have credit on my phone, although they have free internet. And I stood at the, close to the door. No, we're a little far from the door, but you know, and a guy came in, tall. He walked in. As he walked, in, listen, I'm sharing with you. If I lie before you, let God take whatever he has given me. And he walked straight to me, tall. He said, are you a pastor? I smiled that look. I'm wearing jeans. I'm wearing, I don't look like a pastor. Why do, you, why do you think so? He said, because I know a pastor that looks like you. Are you do you have a church around Agege in Lagos? I said, you know me. I said, yes, I'm a pastor. He said, you are a pastor, do you? I said, yes. He said, as I came in, I cited you. I said, wow. He said, but you look this top. I said, yes. I need an Uber. If you can get me a Uber, I will refund you. I said, I just shopped and over shopped. I didn't know how to get out of this place. He said, that's not a problem. And he picked an Uber for me with his own phone because he has money. And he told me that today is my first day in Connecticut. He said, he, has been, he said, look, when I was in Nigeria 10 years ago, I used to worship in royalty once in a while. He said, so I know you. He said, and this is my first day in this city. I've never been. He said, I, I got a new job in this city. I relocated today. When I got into my apartment, I felt I need some things. That's why I came here. I said, you came for me. You are my angel. You see, that, how God operates is very strange. I was stranded. I was stranded. And I gave a pastor was located. So I know your face. 
So you may be looking at yourself like you don't matter. You matter so much to God. It doesn't matter your background, your parenting, your past. You matter so much to God. He can look. He said, "I can give a whole nation because of you." He said it. He said, "I can give Sheba in exchange for you." Please stretch your two hands to heaven. Say, Father, I won't worry over anything anymore for the rest of my life. Because I know you care for me. You love me. You are thoughtful of me. That help I'm waiting for, it will come at the right time. It will not be late. Lift up your hands and say, Father, from today, I off the garment of mourning. I off the garment of complaining. I put on perpetually the garment of praise. I won't complain over my children. I won't complain over my marriage. I won't complain over my job. I won't complain over my accommodation. I won't complain over, over my, my health. I will keep praising you because it's all the people that need to praise you. I join the praiser this morning. So what we, what we worry about don't really count. God has already made a way where it seems there is no way. So I won't worry over it. Because I know you have made a way already. He said before they got to the Red Sea, he has made a path in the sea. He knew one day his children will need to walk through the sea. Lord, I know you have made a way already. So I won't worry about anything. I receive my joy back. I receive my praise back. Oh, I receive my joy back. I receive my praise back. I receive my joy back. I receive my praise back. Thank you, Jesus. As I praise you in the next few minutes, Lord, let the heart begin to yield an increase. Let there be divine reversal in my situation. Make a way for me where it seems there is no way. Make a river in my desert. Make a river in my desert. Turn my desert to oasis. Turn my desert to oasis. Turn my dry ground to garden, to green garden. In the name of Jesus. Let everything that has wither, because joy wither, let them begin to flourish again. Let them begin to flourish again. Let my children flourish. Let my spouse flourish. Let me flourish in all areas of life. Let our church flourish. Let our country flourish. Let things get back to order. Let things be green again. I see beyond the present condition. I see beyond this present condition. I receive the garment of praise. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we pray.